<laughs> what is good, George? There is, and, and, and I'd like to test you on this. Is this is back to where you've just gone with Ireland? And Luke said to you as you come in, disappointed. I, I'm dying to ask you because. I had you in the quarter final. Yeah. The Lebanon game. Me. The Lebanon game killed me, George. It, and I and I called it on here and I was so I was so upset for you because yeah. that was your World Cup game. You get that win there, you're you're playing ultimately they played the Aussies, didn't they? Yeah. Lebanon. You'd have played Aussies in a quarter final, which for me it'd have been once in a lifetime. Yeah. Give us the give us the scoops on what what we were all disappointed. Did you come out of that company disappointed or did you say we did well or what? Bit of both really. Um, more obviously on the field that we're obviously disappointed that we didn't progress um, but you, what you've got to understand is that Ireland before the World Cup wasn't really very well professionally run uh, in terms of like organisation it was more or less just turn up play you're done pretty yeah. much um, but what the inroads that they've done off the field like with his obviously with new coach and Jed Joe who travelled over from NRL and his team manager and I, I can add a few more names as well um, but but what the basis of what they like, you know, like stuff like what you, you know, like in the build up to like pre season and yeah, stuff like yeah. that, you know, you build like all your structures and stuff like that. I feel like they've done that in this World Cup because it's been the most professionally run um, organisation that I've been part of. Um, so definitely off the field, we've definitely made strides. But on the field, yeah, I've got to say we're also disappointed that we didn't go further because that was our goal, quarter final. It was hugely disappointing. Um, I, but I'd probably just say they're probably just choked in that Lebanon game. The end all really. Yeah. We just obviously we gave away six one on one strips. It's, it's a rule that I'm really not a really fan of, but yeah, it, 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 it was a rule it's that a it, it's a rule yeah, that everybody everybody knew before the competition started. So it's only fair. Um, but that killed us as well. Matt Pryor was the king of it, wasn't he? When it when it when it was the best in the world. When it were allowed. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, for me as well. What you're obviously saying there is. For next year, you leave, you leave a bit yeah. better. Next World Cup, you leave yeah. a bit better I, equipped. Yeah, I feel like we've laid foundations. I, I, I really do. But, um, I, I really do feel like because one of Ireland's biggest challenges is because when I looked, we looked at this like throughout the squads is is nearly all the top tier nation squads are <laughs> same relatively every World Cup year. So so you have about eight or nine probably from that same World Cup, whereas Ireland, us, we only had about three or four. So relatively, we need to try and keep the same squad every year, and adding obviously new additions now and again because not everybody can play every year with injuries, but not is to try and keep that continuity. Um, but I think we will. I think we will. I, I really felt it after this camp that we will. We will start striving. We, we did a show last week. Obviously, I don't know if you've seen it, and, and you know, give us a plug, George, and tell us you did. But we did it on you having some fixtures for next year and year after. Year. We've got to give Ireland fixtures, yeah. quality, France, Scotland, Wales. We can't keep... This is my big bear, I'm so passionate about it. Obviously, I'm plugging myself for team managers of Ireland as well. What I'm actually saying <laughs> hey, is... Hey, good on Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> what we're actually saying is... Luke could probably know this better than me. When I've seen England players who play for Ireland, it's usually if they haven't been picked, and then they're like, into 32, they fancy we not piss. That's been the mentality, great, you know... I was remember. I can remember saying to Danny Maguire, "You've got to be Irish with a name like that." We tried everything to find a passport. We couldn't find one. He did have an uncle somewhere, but he'd not seen him for forty years, so we couldn't get. But ultimately, George, what you're saying about professionalism there had to happen anyway. But the rugby league got to help you, here, kid. They've got to help you. They've got to give you some quality fix. I'm going to play for Ireland, and I've got a chance to play for England. If there's a Great Britain, I'm happy because I can probably play with lads. You know, I think best team ever at Great Britain. The way they promoted the last Great Britain were appalling, yeah. in my opinion. They just did it off, a, off yeah, a yeah. the back of a fag packet, six months, threw everybody in together, and it didn't work. We've got to give you some quality fixtures, and we've got to say to them lads, and I'm going to call out, not calling out, because we get this guy who keeps on saying things we say, but, you know, your Ben Curry's, you know, what does Ben want to do? Just put Ben, you, 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 I don't know whether you would have been picked for England, George, you might not anyway, Toby, but you just have got to say, what you're saying is to all the lads, if you have got a chance to play for Ireland, because but you're not even at that if you get some quality fixtures, because otherwise, I'm going to see you every three years at World Cup, I'll never tell you. Yeah, and, and England would be a, a good fixture, wouldn't it? Like, like what I Jod said Knights, I thought the Knights would yeah, be amazing Yeah, Knights, but, but what Jody's saying there is, in maybe in previous, they've come 
a bit of a second thought yeah. we'll go play in a World Cup especially if it's in I reckon if you'd have been in Australia you'd have got miles more players no. saying they're Irish because they'd have want to go on a bit of an holiday <laughs> but George you just said we're trying to change that yeah. trying to build a foundation which it feels like they have got off the field and that'll obviously transpire onto the pitch as well yeah and how do you get look you're, so you're, let's just say you're a Jew you've got Irish ancestry yeah. you've got English and your first priority is do you think I'll get pet for England and then you go I don't know whether I'm going to pick one. You, are you then looking at Ireland as your second? Like, if I don't get picked there, I'm going to play for Ireland. I think Ireland's going to become. But play for us first. I, I suppose I, I, Irish as well. The real that's what that that's what they like. They, that I'm Irish. Uh, do you know? Uh, I suppose it's it's the good old age one with the Tongan and the Samoan. And yeah, the but Mickey Mac and all now. Mickey Mac now has played in the World Cup for England. He's played for Ireland. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, it's one of them, isn't it? Where you, you I don't know. Are you English or? You, would you play for the best? The Aussies do it, don't they? The Samoans have chosen Fijian, Tongans, Fijian yeah. yeah. Ultimately, this is why Tonga, we talked about it, Tonga changed the world. Because they wanted to play for, for Tonga. Peter and them three yeah. years ago when this stops now, they got the federation right, they said, come and play for us, we'll become a force. Forget about doing that. And all of a sudden they all turned out, they sold out 200,000 people in the crowd coming to get in the ground and they changed it forever. Ireland have got to have that moment when they go, Come on. Well, they've got to make better incentives then to be an Irish player, haven't they? But that's what I felt, um, they like, did. like I say, like off this foundation of this World Cup, I really believe that his coach, Jed, has really laid that foundation down. So he's made sure now really? that players that do come in, you know, your history, you know, obviously where you come from, yeah. you want to know everything about your family members, why you wear the shirt, and uh, X not. And it's almost got, going away from the past of you can't filter between the two now, yeah. you know, back and forth. You know, it's it's either Ireland through and through, and I understand that rugby league is a short term game, and obviously players obviously need need the financial because of obviously what England could become. But us, us as a country, obviously we, we we've we've said it many times now. If we want to be serious, we've got to act serious off the field. You know, for so use teams like England. I'll even add France in that occasion now because I think they've they've, they've stepped up a little bit. Off yeah, the I field. Do. Yeah. And um, you know, so if we want to be serious, we've got to be serious looking off the field as well to help us on the field. Yeah, and they've does, both got to work. Does that require direction. a team based out of Ireland? Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's the talk and that's the hope is really is is setting obviously some sort of Ireland UK based structure over here. Same against in Australia, obviously where the cash cow is and where the big sponsorship is. In Australia, because there's a lot of Irish big communities in Australia. Um, so, so my aim and what I think should happen is a bit of like a triangle type thing, but it all feeds into to the growth and domestic growth in Ireland. Yeah, I love it. We've got we've got to think got a plug. I hope he's watching this for you, and I'm going to hold this back when I become your team manager eventually, when I become the coach, team <laughs> manager, and whatever. Is we've got one of the biggest hitters in Ireland who is a rugby league fan, a big friend of mine, and Luke's. And I think we can get him involved. I'm going to call him out here live on the show. But this this lad's got, you know, he's, he's major player in the horse breeding trade. And he's an absolute anorak. Never misses a game, am I right? He yeah, absolutely, yeah. He, he was in America yeah. with a budget bigger than what our show is by about 40 million. Well, time, time, <laughs> five quid. <laughs> five quid. <laughs> and he, he's saying to me, oh, we've got Breeders' Cup, da, 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 but I'm trying to watch rugby on the other side. How do I get it? And I'm laughing my head off. Honestly, he's a massive rugby league fan, and I think you can get. He's always said there's no. He began watching it, watching Wigan as yeah, a kid. Yeah, big Wigan fan, wasn't he? And he, he said that's how he followed yeah, it, yeah. and then he's followed rugby league. He loves it more than rugby union loves it. And I, I've always said if we brought someone over, even if it's a satellite show, I don't know how we do it. Put a game on. Do we get the young Irish lads playing? How do we get the young Irish lads playing? And one of Huddersfield have just done a great thing where they brought two or three of the lads over. Yeah, yeah. Put them at Huddersfield at 16 and they've become. I, I played in Belfast. I, would you part? You might have been a bit, bit no, young. No. I played for England Knights in Belfast. Wow. It was unreal. Were really? it? Yeah. We, we played Ireland in Belfast. I didn't know that. That's yeah. Well, that's what I think we need. They need an old yeah, fixture, yeah, but I'd do it in Dublin. On fixture, oh, yeah, yeah. get get yeah, yeah. and they'd sell out. I think if they and I said this to Roger, if they if they did it right and they got them in, and then they could they could ignite another generation of Irish young lads who say, but we've got to be able to say to them, we'll come into four camps a year, and any player up in Super League, if, if we've got some talent, let's bring, like, come on guys, we've got a, yeah, yeah, and eventually having your own clubs. franchise that'd be amazing. But for now, the Irish are mad into any sport, yeah, are they? but get get yeah, if you ever get a Dublin team, I mean, imagine. 
you, also, sponsored by Guinness. Well, we're, we're on a way fixture, aren't we? <laughs> we're all putting our name down for a way fixture, aren't we? You're going to get... No, 100%. 100%. But it needs, it needs high profile. It needs someone to talk out about it. It needs what George is doing. And I think he's... George is probably the only player I do believe in that state. Yeah, yeah. You can, you if can George were asked to play for England, I think he'd say no, thanks. I'll, I'll tell you now. <laughs> they told me he'd drop you like a man. Told me black. I'm like, <laughs> 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 English. <laughs> he could have split yeah. shirts and just yeah, yeah, yeah. cap on. But George would generally be only one I know would go, not for me, son. I'm believing this concept and we're going to push it. 